Sistine Chapel today. Well, you are now in luck. A unique exhibition showcasing Michelangelo's ceiling frescoes is now at the Oak Brook Center through August 15th. Joining us now this morning is Dakota Lauren, the manager of the exhibition. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thanks for being with us. So you were telling us a little bit about this during the commercial break. You have transformed this space. Tell us about the space that you're in right now. Absolutely. So we are actually in an old Sears building um, and we've kind of done our best job to give it the feel of a museum art gallery and display Michelangelo's work in the Sistine Chapel. So what will we see? I see a very famous uh, picture back there. Yes, right over your shoulder. Thank yes. you, Paul. Yes. So behind me, you see the creation. And so the exhibit has all 34 of his ceiling frescoes and then additionally has the Last Judgment, which uh, sits behind the altar at the uh, Vatican uh, Sistine Chapel. Have you seen the Sistine Chapel in person? I have. So I was fortunate enough to go maybe six years ago. Um, and it was, I mean, it was a remarkable experience. However, you know, the frescoes are obviously 60, 70 feet above you. You're kind of being rushed through, no pictures, right. you know, no talking, nothing like that. And so what we've done is, you know, recreated these, um, these artworks in their life size, you know, true to life form and really give people an opportunity to, you know, examine the details, um, learn a little bit more about the process, uh, the stories that he's trying to tell. And, you know, people are invited to take pictures, they're invited to talk. And you uh, can we have really, a great audio guide. You can really get up close and personal with them. That's neat. E exactly, exactly. And so it's, um, it's pretty remarkable to be able to see the true size of these paintings. Um, you know, it took him over five years to uh, paint the ceiling and then another five years to paint the Last Judgment. And so it's a pretty extraordinary just human feat beyond the actual artwork itself. And to create what you're standing in front of, I understand there's some sort of technique behind it. Can you tell us about that? Yes, absolutely. So we have the license to the Vatican's um, exclusive photographers. And what our team did was took two years to find the right material to print these um, images on. And the reason that is, is because Michelangelo did that in fresco style. And so that's when you paint on wet plaster and it gives a very specific kind of vibrancy and texture to the paintings. And so it took us two years to find the right material that really um, wow. you know, brings that technique out. And uh, the kind of final product is what you're seeing now. What do we need to know? You've, you've been open for a few weeks now. You're gonna be open through August. It's very popular. Do we need tickets, masks? What do we need to know? Yes, yes. So we opened on May 19th. We'll be here till August 15th. Um, as I mentioned, it's in the old Sears building at the Oak Brook Center. Um, you can purchase tickets online at the Sistine Chapel Exhibit dot com. Uh, we are still doing masks for now. Um, you know, though that might change in the coming weeks, but for now we are still, uh, you know, doing masks and respecting kind of social distancing. Um, but yeah, we invite you to go purchase tickets at the Sistine Chapel Exhibit dot com and uh, come check us out. Perfect, Dakota. Thanks so much for being with us. Happy Sunday morning. Thank you. Thank you. Very neat, Mark. Elizabeth, remember that show, uh, you, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Yes. 